Gentlemen, can I ask you to sit down so that we can start um, the next session? Um, and we're moving now straight into the world of design of arch and architecture and, and urbanism. I was um, very interested yesterday to take down some notes that um, a lawyer, a technologist, and an economist all mentioned the word architecture and urbanism and said, um, one member we said, we don't have a chance in hell in getting cities to be smart unless we get the design of the architecture and the space right. So, of course, a theme that we heard uh, in the last uh, hour and a half in the previous session. Now, Michael Kimmelman, New York Times, and I are going to be sharing this together in a very informal way. And we have uh, three of the most interesting, I think, designers, and designers meant in really quite a wide sense here, uh, both of architecture and buildings, but also of systems and signs. Uh, I think all of that is part of our sense of the city uh, and sense of the experience of the city, which we want to talk about. And we are intentionally going to narrow. We're going to talk about making uh, uh, architecture, making systems, and how people actually use them and react to them, and um, uh, try and get away from the, the issues of technologies per se, uh, but obviously go back to that in terms of what does that mean in terms of the new generation of design that... Um, um, confronts the architects and the designers of the 21st century. Uh, the three speakers uh, we have are Alejandro Zaira Polo, uh, who is, uh, in fact, quite recently made the dean of Princeton School of Architecture in the States. Um, he is uh, very happy with the announcement that was made yesterday, actually, Richard, uh, because he um, set up his office here, but bought his office here about 15 years ago, 12 years ago. 10 years ago, so property values have gone up immediately <laughs> as a result of that. Therefore, he's not renting, so he's going to stay, or he's <laughs> going to be renting it to others. But um, Alejandro has uh, been very much part of the London architectural scene and very international scene, and uh, a close colleague and friend of the urban age since its inception, in fact, was present and spoke at the very first conference we had in New York in 2005. Uh, Eric Speakerman is one of um, the world's most talented designers, full stop. Um, everyone knows his work and doesn't really n maybe know that his name is behind it, which is always interesting. If you take uh, the public transport in Berlin, he designed the tube map there. Just think of that. And he will show some of the other things that he's doing. But most interesting, why we've asked him to be here, uh, is to also talk about the interfaces between different components of design, different elements, um, cars, uh, smart cars and different systems and also, as I say, mapping itself. And then Bjarke Engels, who's just got off a plane from Sydney, so we can forgive him everything. Everyone always <laughs> forgives Bjarke everything. Um, Bjarke has come here from Sydney, which is pretty impressive, but otherwise um, uh, hails from Copenhagen. And, and there are two famous products from um, uh, Denmark. Well, maybe one or two more, but Bjarke is one of them. And the other one is Lego. And uh, he just told me that he was uh, only informed the other day that he's actually going to be responsible for designing the Lego Museum. Uh, and uh, I think that's Childhood dream. <laughs> 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 so, so don't tell anyone. But Bjarke has, uh, and you'll see from his work, been very active, not just in Europe, but uh, very recently in New York, where he's opened a practice, where some of the themes about uh, effectively, let's call it climate change more broadly, but sort of environmental performance and technology at the heart of uh, the work. So we have three extremely interesting uh, people to talk about these themes, and I'm going to ask Alejandro to be the first to kick off. Thank you very much.